selected the side to set the trailer up on. The boys will now come around and position the trailer. Position the lower the stabiliser legs into position, wind down. The object here is to get the trailer basically set square to the trailer so the tent can come off it for the final um, tent set up. Today we'll show the setup of the O1 straight wall tent. Very simple tent to set up once you've stabilised the trail in the position on a nice level side. Basically just fold the floor down. Doors will just demonstrate fold straight up and over. After you position the floor basically into position, it will be a um, matter of putting about four pegs to hold it down. After the tent is folded out, place four pegs in. The ones at the trailer, you need to make sure these are straight up and down to the trailer. Do this on both sides, pull the corners out. If you get the floor square at this stage, the rest of the tent will fall into position easily. When you're setting up camp, try not to set up under trees where bird droppings can become a problem. Also, uh, tree sap can always cause a drama as well. Now these ensured that the floor is uh, square to the trailer here and there's no creases in the floor. At this stage you will open up the door to the tent, enter the tent and push the bows out into the position. After the tent is uh, pegged out, we step inside the tent, uh, position the bow nearest the door into the ground pocket first. This will let the rest of the tent easily sit into position without uh, falling over on you. I want to adjust these bows out, as with all our tents, do not over tighten them. Stretching the canvas will only open up holes and cause the tent to leak. Very quick and easy tent to set up. So he's just positioned the last bow here now. Again, as you can see, we're not trying to get the tent or the um, canvas to go super tight. The reality is, there's a tent you can sleep in in an easy two minute setup. Once the main tent is uh, up, the corner poles are put in, as Ben is demonstrating here. Again, not too much tension. Ben has already fitted the optional spreader bar, as you can see, running down. And the 05 pole spreader bars in the corner near the bed have also been fitted. There's an optional privacy screen comes with this tent. At the moment, tucked under the mattress, can be placed up quite easily to give parents full privacy. Very easy tent to set up, easily done in under 10 minutes. Boys are positioning the poles out necessary to put up the annex now. They will place the number one spreader bars into position. Sometimes it helps to have someone on the inside to find the holes for the spreader bars. Most of the time they're quite easily done. The 
Next part, we'll zip the annex on into position. Next step is to fit the annex roof. Just walk this into position. The zip starts at the furthest position from the bed. As you can see, that little trick Ben just did, he's tacked the rear of the uh, annex roof on with the Velcro just to hold it up in position. Well, Lee starts the zip off at this end. This is all easily achieved by one person. Always pays to have a little step ladder with you when you go camping. Ideal in situations like this where it may be out of your reach to put the spreader bars or zip the annex roof on. After that's done, the Velcro storm cover is placed over the zips. This ensures that water doesn't blow back up under. After this is achieved, the best way to do the next part is to put the centre pole up with the spreader bars that the boys have already placed into position onto the main ridge bar of the awning. By placing the centre pole in first, the rest of the awning will fall into place by itself. As we do it for other tents, by putting this pole up first with the main ridge bar in position, the tent will now stand in place by itself, and it's just a matter of building each corner up as needed. If you place the rubber bungee hooks into the pole as provided will stop the canvas lifting off the poles in slightly windy conditions as well. Just going around retention the spreader bars. Ben is building the back corner up exactly the same as the front one. Boys now just go around and uh, lift the height of the poles in the corners to adjust the height. This is best done by standing back a bit sometimes and just having a look how the whole thing's sitting. Sometimes you'll have to adjust the level to suit the fall of the land that you're on just in case your site isn't level. A couple of final, final adjustments and you now have your outdoor living space ready to add walls as necessary. After you're happy with the way the annex roof is sitting, everything's nice and square, the next part we put in is the floor. Always easy to do the floor without the walls on. Let you see what you're doing a lot easier. You can lay the floor out and get it sitting in position nice and square without having to worry about anything. Also gives you um, something nice to kneel on in case you need that to do the, the wall situation with the floors. The boys are just putting the poles onto the floor to stop the breeze. Walls are now unfolded. Always easy to do this in one piece. Orientate the wall into the position you need. Find a corner. Always start at the corners, usually the easiest, at the front corner. Uh, the boys just pull the pole back in off vertical. 
and then stand the pole back up once the corner's in place. Very easy process to go along and put the Velcro up. It takes about three minutes to put all the walls in. When you get to the tent side itself, it's only a matter of following the Velcro down to the uh, ground level. Seal off the tent area. What Ben's doing now is pulling the mud flap under the floor and positioning the floor back on top. This will give quite a good weather seal and try and keep most of the critters out. Very handy for small children that are still crawling around on the uh, ground. Gives them a sealed area that they can play on. With, um, no fear from bites or nasties on the ground. See so Ben's just working his way around now, putting the floor into position. Pulls the rear the corner pole in, goes around the corner and then I'll place the pole back out. This procedure is done all the way around the tent. We have our finished product ready to move the food and set up the kitchen. Enjoy your stay. So we're going to do the fold down on the A1 tent now. Got Ben up here just removing the optional spreader bars. While you're up on the bed, the other bar we remove is the O5 spreader bars, the small ones. And then he'll go around and he'll let the bows down after he removes these. You now let all the bows down into their lower position. That's how he just slightly nips the uh, thumb screw back up after he's lowered the bow. Let me remove the two corner poles. After he's done that, he will lower the outside bow. And then he'll come across to this side, pull the pole up out of the floor pocket and into the receiver. He'll now remove the outside pole from the corner pocket and place it onto the receiver. Then you can let both bows down into the closed position. Just in the other side. Now it's all ready to be folded up. Simply a matter of folding it over now. As you can see, a very simple one-man operation. A 
At this point here, it's only a matter of um, fitting the tornado cover on now. Boys will now put the, the whole Enix, the storm cover and all the walls onto the top of the uh, packed up canvas work. This is the best place to store it, keeps it safe, no, nothing hard is going to fall on in the trailer. Never put anything hard on top of the canvas. They now reposition the tornado cover. Zip it back on into position. And pull the Velcro flap down to completely seal the end at all. If you're in extremely dusty conditions, try and make sure there is no dust or sand that has got into the zip at any stage. It will only damage the zip in the long run. By putting the Velcro cover back down over the zip, this should eliminate all problems driving along the road and make the unit nearly dustproof. Secure all straps on the side of the tornado cover. Fold the stabiliser legs up into position. Very easy to forget these and try and drive off. Damage to jockey wheel or stabiliser legs while driving off is not covered under warranty. Please just doing the final adjustment here. Last strap to be done. At this point, your market direct camper is ready to be hooked up to your vehicle for a safe journey home. Thank you.